Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Ford chandelier called the Aegeus 3 Arm 10-12-60. Awesome fixture. It actually packs quite a punch for a small fixture. It's only 18.1 inches tall and 22.3 inches in diameter, so this is good for tight spaces like breakfast rooms, kitchen tables, that kind of thing. Maybe a small foyer if you have a tall enough ceiling to make it work. So, let's get into details on this, and I want to show you more information and how we're going to do that is we're going to look at the install sheets. And how we do that is if you're on the page for this on handmadeinvermont.com, look over on the right-hand side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a link. That link is going to say, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So if you go open up that PDF for me, it would be awesome. You're going to see a lot of things. You're going to see a full parts list is going to be on there. It's going to show you that this is going to be shipping with a 5-inch round diameter canopy. This is what goes on the ceiling over your 4-inch junction box, and it just goes over like that, so it hides it beautifully. There's a loop on the bottom where the chain hangs. There's a bracket on here that connects to that. The loop is going to be hanging uh, chain, and it's going to come automatically with 36 inches of chain to begin with. And if you need more chain because you want to hang this, like let's say from a cathedral ceiling or from a two-story foyer, we do sell additional chain. Just contact me for information about that. So chain has, oops, I stopped doing that. So chain has a long side and a short side. It's an oval, and there's a little seam right here on the long side, so it allows it to open and close. So you can use as little or as much as you guys want. <clears throat> so you can add another link. Or, or another length actually they come in three foot length so just remember that when you guys have to order additional chain it is going to ship with 15 feet of wire that's a lot of wire that'll easily get you down from a second story if you need more wire because you're going to swag it or do something even beyond that just contact me because we uh, do that as a custom okay so let's get into some detail on this um, it's going to ship with uh, another well other parts on that list you're going to notice is going to be this bulb shield so, Hubbardton Forge says that this is actually a halogen fixture. It is going to ship with three 60-watt halogens, which are, they, they cast a beautiful light. They're dimmable. You should use them to begin with because they're going to be in the box anyway. You're going to notice that this little guy here, this is going to be a frosted bulb shield. <clears throat> and its job, it has two jobs. The bottom of it has a retaining ring that is threaded, and that actually just screws over this guy, the threaded socket, and its job is to keep your glass on. This is Hubbardton Forge's opal glass. I'll get into more on that in just a little bit. But it's going to be retaining the glass to the fixture itself. Its second job is to keep, <clears throat> to keep dust off that bulb. Halogen bulbs don't like dust. They don't like dust and they don't like people's, the oil off people's hands. So when you're handling these, don't do this. Handle them with a little bit of a paper towel or something like that. And then when you've got, got your glass on, you have your bulb in, you just basically retain the whole thing by screwing this over like that, and you're good to go. Okay? So, some of you are going to say, hey, wait a minute, I want to use LEDs. And I'm just like, well, yeah, absolutely, you should totally use LEDs. So, if you're going to use LEDs, then, you know, go online. That's the best way to do it. Go on Amazon or some other website and just put in G9LED. You are going to see all of these guys pop up. So, these are all kinds of different LEDs. The orange ones, they have orange filaments inside and pads are called phosphorus LEDs. The ones that look like corn cobs are called cob LED. There you go. So, and these are, uh, this is a 75 watt equivalent. This one's a 60 watt equivalent. <clears throat> this one has a frosted kind of milky diffuser on it, plastic. This one's clear. So, uh, if you're going to be hanging this in a situation where someone's going to be looking down on it from a stairway, you might elect to go with one of these guys that has a frosted kind of milky diffuser on it so you don't get the glare of the bulb. If it's going to be above your head, and like in a kitchen, and you're not going to be looking down on it, you can go for one of these larger cob LEDs that, that's clear. So this is a 75 watt version of this equivalent, and um, I tend to like this one a lot. I use this a lot in my showroom. So a couple caveats to that. This is not a dimmable one, but I, I bet you can just go on Amazon and find a dimmable version of this. They're everywhere, all over the place. You could probably find them in Home Depot and Lowe's, True Value Hardware Stores. But the internet is the easiest place for you to find them. The other thing is, buy a dimmable version if you guys want to dim this and put it on a good dimmer that's equipped for LEDs. That's going to be very important. The other thing is I talk all the time about the color temperature of LED light. You can choose that when you're buying your LEDs. I tend to like this warm light coming down on me. That's 3000 Kelvin. And these are LEDs too. That's the same warmth of a traditional uh, incandescent bulb we all grew up with, okay? If you like the colder, 
cooler, whiter outdoor light, daylight, it's at that hospital light. That's 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. So it's really up to you what you guys want to get. There's no right or wrong answer. Just buy a dimmable version in the color temperature you guys like, and you are fine. If you do end up getting <clears throat> one of these really big 75 watt equivalent LEDs, and you find that this just doesn't go all the way down, it kind of runs into the bulb and it doesn't keep the glass down, you know, you can pop this right off. So the um, retaining ring just pops right off of that piece of glass. So you can always use, if you're using LEDs, you don't need to use the frosted bulb thing. It, it actually hampers some of the light coming out. So you can just use this guy and it'll help keep the glass onto the socket. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the ends. You can see them on these two pieces and it gives it this really soft uh, semi-transparent kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft soft glowing piece. Really really pretty. You know they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge and a lot of people don't um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website handmadeinvermont.com do me a favor, look over on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. One is going to be the finishes help guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubberton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, and I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variants on there in that video. So it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in Dark Smoke, click on Dark Smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in Vintage Platinum, do the same. And so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardson Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a What's On display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section to check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardson Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do... Do me a favor, measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes. Widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardson Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets are going to be non-returnable. 
it'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item that that is the case. So always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.